this is Rich Buckeye, the Mata Day Prep Athletic Director. Welcome to our Virtual Athletic Awards. Tonight, we celebrate outstanding efforts by our coaches and students from both the fall and winter seasons. We will also honor those who have been exceptional in the classroom and community while competing at an extremely high level. One of our students has received an award from the NJSIAA. Two students will receive an award from the short conference. Many others will be honored for maintaining the highest grade point average in their class, while some will receive traditional modern day prep awards named after some memorable alumni. This is a very difficult time for all of us, especially our spring athletes and coaches that prepared mentally and physically for what was certain to be a terrific season, one that never materialized for any of us. It is regrettable that I was unable to see our baseball, softball, track and field, girls lacrosse, and golfers perform. We, the athletic department, are looking forward to seeing athletics at Modern Day Prep in the very near future. I would also like to thank Jen DBAs, Abby Viscomi, and Christine O'Connor for their professionalism and expertise in the making of this video, and a special acknowledgement to Paul Malicki, who spends countless hours photographing our Modern Day Prep students and staff. Without further ado, please enjoy our athletic awards. Hi, I'd like to introduce Christine O'Connor, our girls cross country coach. I just want to give a brief highlight of our season. This was our best season yet. Our team dynamic continued to grow and we gained new faces that played huge roles in our success. Our girls team had their best team finishes at the Monmouth County meet and our non-public B state championship meet. Haley and Masano became the school's first non-public B cross country state champion. We are excited to be returning all of our girls this coming fall, and we look to gain new faces with our incoming freshman class. This year's Player of the Year Award goes to Haley Amisano. This year's Coaches Award goes to Lucy Jackson. to introduce Bob Weiss, our boys cross country, country coach. coach. It is truly a pleasure to be able to present to you this year's most valuable player and coaches award winners. A very small and young cross country team had a remarkable season this year, getting faster each time we competed and winning three of five dual meets. In addition, we had a remarkable showing of at six invitational meets that included the Cherokee Challenge, the Thompson Park class meet, the Shore Coaches Meet, and most notably, the NJSIAA Freshman and JV Championship Meet. It is important that I mention this season that we had many first-time cross-country athletes, some of whom joined us to get ready for modern-day basketball in the winter. I welcome them back and any other athlete for next year's competitions for what I anticipate will be an outstanding cross-country season. This year's Cross Country Player of the Year is Josh Seba. This year's Coaches Award goes to Aaron Buckner. Thank you. introduce our girls tennis coach Dom Longo. Just want to say congratulations to all of our graduating seniors from our tennis team Abby Zone, Lee McMahon, and Juliana Farina. It was great to be your coach this year. We went through a lot together from August until mid-October. I'm very proud of the team that you became from a rough start in August waiting for everybody to come back to school and getting together to Winning four matches when most people didn't think that we would finish where we did. Um, finishing in fourth place in our division, which we should be very proud of. And going to the state playoffs for the first time in quite a few years. So I just want to say how proud I am of you girls. And I wanted to thank the seven of you, or the ten of you, for helping me learn the game of tennis um, from a... Just, Shady start, little rough start there, but I want to thank you for showing me the game of tennis and being your coach and just want to say how proud I was of all of you. 
The coach's award for girls tennis goes to senior Leanne McMahon. The modern day girls tennis award for player of the year goes to Abby Zone. <laughs> Now I'd like to introduce our boys football coach, Dino Mangiero. Yeah, our 2019 football season was a real roller coaster. We started out the season 4-0. Uh, we won our games by an average of 35 points. Then we lost a real close game, 14-7, uh, and lost two more right in a row. So uh, from 4-0, we became 4-3. And, three. and uh, things turned around. We won our last two regular season games, which put us at five and three for the season. And uh, we headed into the playoffs uh, thinking that we were back on track. Um, Pope John was the first team we played uh, in the playoffs. We played them at home. And we finally turned, I thought, the season around and we played very, very well. Uh, the highlight of the season was our next game where we had a go to Red Bank Catholic after they received the bye. In the playoffs, uh, they had a lot of time to prepare for us, but we went there and we only gave up three points. We won the game 10-3 uh, on a cold Friday night down in Red Bank. Uh, great for our alumni because it's the first time that modern day prep has ever beaten Red Bank Catholic uh, in the history of the school. Uh, the finale took place, the championship game at Rutgers University where uh, we played DePaul Catholic. Uh, the year before, we had upset DePaul Catholic in the semifinals of the state championship. Uh, we didn't get off to a great start. We were down 21 nothing, 21-7. We came roaring back. Uh, we just came up a little short. Uh, we lost the championship. So uh, overall, I think it was a very successful year. Um, it's never completely successful by our standards at modern day if we don't bring home the trophy. But uh, we had a lot of great players. Uh, a lot of great lessons were learned. There are a lot of great lessons in losing. And I thought it was a fine season. I'd like to make it known that uh, Malik Ingram, our tailback, also a part-time linebacker, was our most valuable player this year. The Coach's Award went to Clarence Lewis. Next is our girls cheerleading coach for fall and winter, Brittany Schick. All right, so I just wanted to start by congratulating the cheer team for a fantastic season. I feel that we made a lot of improvements and you, the team as a whole learned a lot this season. I feel UCA um, camp last summer was a major turning point for our team, for the girls learning all new stunts and tumbling skills and cheer. Um, cheers for the game. I feel that we made a lot of progress as a team and I'm so proud of where everybody is at. Player of the year for the cheer team is going to go to McKenna Noble. The coaches award is going to go to Gwen Altenberg and congratulations. Hi, I'd like to introduce May Skirba, the girls volleyball coach. Hi there. Um, so first I want to thank you all so much. Um, we had a wonderful volleyball season this year. Hopefully some of you guys got out to see. It was our first varsity year. Um, so we saw a huge improvement from JV to varsity and we look forward to continuing to grow as a team and continue to beat some of our rivals. I know we had some great games against Trinity Hall and the girls continue to show improvement and better themselves each and every game. The coaches award this year is gonna be going to our senior Dominique Bryson. The player of the year award is going to Chris Cassaro. Next, 
up is our girls field hockey coach, Krista Portelli. I had the distinct pleasure of becoming modern day preps field hockey coach this year, and I was overwhelmed with the stellar um, level of girls that came out, their commitment and dedication to making this team what it was. We, our records certainly did not show the effort that they brought to the field, um, but we are constantly improving and every day they came to play. We did have Modern Day's first ever team to make the state tournament. We did fall in the first round, but they gave it their all and played to the end. Player of the year this year goes to Grace Donahue. Coach's award goes to senior Melissa Kelly. Like to introduce now our girls soccer coach Nikki Melanda. Hello Sarah families. I hope everyone is doing well during this time of uncertainty. I'm looking forward to things getting back to normal and getting the girls on the field for the fall season. I would first like to congratulate all the winners for this year. I would also like to thank my assistant coach Tori Mulligan for all of her help and hard work during the season. The girls and I appreciate all you did for us. The 2019 girls soccer season was one of ups and downs. We had a strong schedule that tested the girls from the start of the season. The girls rose to the occasion, making the top teams in the shore play to their hardest. We, we suffered injuries to five starters in the middle of the season, which let our underclassmen get field time and they did a great job. We lost quite a few games by one goal. That is a great accomplishment and that will only build our confidence and beat those teams next season. Brooke Lucina and Kate Braun made the all division B team and our fearless goalie, Karen Nortz, made the Shore All-Star team, which allowed her to play in a game with the rest of the top players in the Shore. The coaches award goes to Kate Braun. The player of the year award goes to Brooke Lucina. up is our boys soccer coach, Mr. Will Carl. This year we have a 5-12 and 1 record with a very young team. We have made the short conference uh, tournament for the first time in a few years. We made states for the first time in a few years. And we have various uh, B Central honors uh, through NJ.com with Pat Mastro and Ajani Bruni. We also had various All-State honors with Liam Stewart, AJ Bruni, Marconi Pizzoa, and CJ Braun. Our player of the year goes to Liam Stewart. Our coach's award goes to a Johnny Bruni. Now I'd like to introduce our girls basketball coach, Mike Pinheiro. This was my first season as head coach at women's basketball program at Modern Day Prep. This season, the goal was to lay a foundation to bolster the girls' basketball program at Modern Day. By doing so, we scheduled some very tough opponents. We were able to see the level that we need to get to by playing quality opponents. This prepared us for winning our first state tournament game since 2012. This season, Katie Zoda scored her 1,000th point versus Henry Hudson on January 23rd, finishing with a career of 1,135 points. Some of our players received postseason award. Shelby Barksdale and Katie Zoda received first team short conference class B Central Division. And Madison Lopez and Elizabeth Morrow uh, received honorable mention short conference class B division. Elizabeth Morrow also won the Shore Sports Network Sportsmanship Award. Player of the year goes to Katie Zoda. Coach's award goes to Madison Lopez.
couldn't be more proud of our team's accomplishments this past season. We owe much of this year's success to the hard work and dedication from our seven seniors. Our seniors were determined to achieve this team's potential and led the way through their friendships, teamwork, and self-sacrifice. With these attributes, we were able to compete at the highest level, reaching the short conference quarterfinals and the semifinals in the non-public B state tournament losing to perhaps the best team in the state. This year's Player of the Year Award goes to Tahaj Parlin. Our Coach's Award to Sean Turner. Congratulations. <music> Next up is 1988 alumnus Pat Rydell who will present the bowling awards. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to my kids and all the bowlers who participated this year for all they did and thank them for all their time. Um, although there aren't many wins with the bowling program, um, you know, we did have a couple kids qualify for short conference individual tournament, Joey Stan and Hannah Hale. Um, they held their own in the tournament, which was very nice. They had pleasant results in it. A bowling players award, Go to boys, Joey Stanton, another great year. Girls, Hannah Hale, fantastic year. The coaches awards go to uh, boys, Chris Furman, and girls, Ellie Donahue. Congratulations to all the bowlers. Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce our girls winter track and field coach, Christine O'Connor. Congratulations to our girls indoor track and field program on their successful season. Our returners paved the way to our increasing number of younger classmen we had come out for our program. Highlights from this season came especially from our newcomers in the 55 dash, the hurdles, and high jump. Many of our girls earned medals at the Monmouth County meet, short conference meet, state relays, state championships, and Eastern Regionals. Our girls became the first girls team to win a non-public B state championship relay title. Top performances came from our hurdle relay team of Kate Braun, Rose Petrie, Delaney Urban, and Lucy Jackson. Our high jump relay of Lucy Jackson, Rachel Hanna, our shot putters, Chica Fobi and Maddie Ducey, pole vaulters, Bridget Blumetti, Carly Mandel, and our sprint and hurdle distance crew, Haley and Misano, Grace Donahue, Megan Mastro, and Bridget Kamen. Chica Afobi continued her success this season with meddling at every meet and setting a new shot put school record. Haley Ann Masano this season became the school's first girl to win the two mile at Shore Conference. She went on to medal in every championship meet and the Eastern Regional Championships. I would like to thank all our girls' parents, our girls on our team, and especially our seniors. We will miss you, and thank you to our coaches. Our Player of the Year award goes to Chica Afobi. Our Coaches Award goes to Delaney Urban. I'd like to introduce our boys track and field coach, Amory Sieri. This past year, I had the privilege of coaching the modern day boys indoor track team. Running and fitness are great passions of mine, and being able to share that with my athletes was something I'll never forget. Our workouts were out of the ordinary, with pickup basketball games, track tag, and of course, the boys' favorite, Sean T's Insanity videos. Watching the boys grow as runners and achieve PRs that they didn't think were possible really made those endless hour long track meets on Friday night rewarding. Thank you to my athletes, the other track coaches, administration, and of course, the families who showed up to support our amazing Sarups during this indoor track season. This year's player of the year for indoor track is Naren Bunton. This year's coaches award for indoor track is Noah Lawson. Do 
Syracuse Hall of Fame inductee in 2019 and alumnus Shannon Holdley. Hi, I am honored to announce the four-year letter winners in one sport. Soccer, Karen Nortz. Men's soccer, AJ Bruni and Christopher Napoli. Women's field hockey, Melissa Kelly. Cheerleading, Gabriella DiCagorio, Angela Gallo, McKenna Noble, Megan Roberts, and Elizabeth Sheridan. Women's basketball, Catherine Zoda. Men's bowling, Christopher Furman, Joseph Stanton III, Alphonse Voda. Women's softball, Danielle Perpigan, April Varela. Men's baseball, Sean Turner. Men's football, Clarence Lewis, Isaiah Noguera, and Isaiah Walton. Congratulations. I am honored to announce a very special award. The following individuals have achieved a four-year varsity letter in two sports. Elizabeth Morrow, basketball, soccer. Abigail Zone, tennis and winter track. Congratulations. I am honored to announce the following student athlete who has achieved a four-year letter in three sports. Patrick Mastro, soccer, winter track, baseball. Congratulations. Next, I would like to introduce Christine O'Connor to present our Julie Smith Award. This award is given to a female runner who amplifies the qualities of Julie Smith, modern day class of 75, who was killed by a drunk driver one year after graduation. Julie was a member of modern day's first cross country and track team. She was first team all county and all conference. Julie was a dedicated student athlete, a fierce competitor, and a true team leader. The recipient of the Julie Smith Award goes to Megan Mastro. The Jack Elliott Award. This award is presented annually in memory of former modern day boys basketball coach Jack Elliott. The award is presented to a player who demonstrates sportsmanship and dedication to the basketball program. I'd like to introduce alumnus and present basketball coach Jamie and Lawson announcing this year's recipient. The recipient of this award has been a model example for modern day prep students, not only in his athletic career, but in the classroom as well. Being an alumnus of modern day, I have met many great athletes during my time, but none like this young man. He is a high character individual, a leader, the true definition of a gym rat, first one in the gym, last one to leave, and a very fierce competitor. This person will be continuous academic and athletic career at the Ramapo College in New Jersey. Myself, his coaches, and the modern day prep community will wish this young man continued success as he will embark on his new journey. And I am happy to announce that the Jack Elliott Award will go to Peter Gorman. Next up, Kathy Daniels, modern day alumna from 1979, presenting the Kevin Attridge Memorial Award to one of our girls track and field athletes. Thank you, Rich. I'm honored to present the Kevin Attridge Memorial Award in honor of my coach, teacher, and good friend, Kevin Attridge, who passed away in December of 2018. Kevin was a crucial part of establishing the women's athletic program at Modern Day where he dedicated his life as both a religion teacher and varsity coach in basketball, cross country, and track for 46 years. This award is presented to a female runner who exemplifies the ideals that Kevin stressed to his students and athletes. Strong faith, excellence, perseverance, generosity, integrity, teamwork, and sportsmanship, all the while maintaining a healthy sense of humor. I am very proud, and certainly Kevin would be, to present this year's Kevin Atridge Memorial Award to Abigail Zone. Abigail, congratulations. You should be very proud of your accomplishments. We certainly are. Good luck.
now like to introduce Mr. John Cahill, Mata Day grad from 1973 and current board member. He is here to present the Scholar Athlete Award to six of our underclassmen. The criteria for our Scholar Athletes are the highest GPA and they are multiple sport participants. He will also present the NJSIAA Award to one of our seniors. Hello, everyone. I'm John Cahill, class of 1973. Uh, and I got to say, it's an honor to be a part of your uh, celebration here. On behalf of thousands and thousands of Seraph alumni, we would like to offer our congratulations. And I have to say on a personal note, and believe me, this is coming from somebody who never got one of these awards. Uh, this is a big deal. And uh, I hope you guys are very, very proud of yourselves. I know you work very hard for this. So now without any further ado, we can get to our award winners. First, the Scholar Athlete Award for 2019-20. Uh, the ninth grade awards will go to Margaret Fisher and Daniel King. Uh, the 10th grade awards go to uh, Alexandra Fleming and Vincent Walter Chula. And the 11th grade awards go to Grace Donahue and Ashton Benavides. Uh, congratulations to all of you. NJSIAA Scholar Athlete Award goes to uh, our headband wearing uh, basketball superstar, Peter Gorman. Um, I would just like to say thank you uh, for all your efforts. Congratulations to everyone. Uh, you students are really the reason this is a great school. Uh, God bless your families and have a safe and wonderful summer. Thank you. Next up is Mr. Chuck Lugay, our Booster Club president presenting the Booster Club Scholar Athlete Awards. Thank you, Rich. The Booster Club Scholar Athlete Award is presented to one senior girl and one senior boy. The award is based on a point system consisting of athletic participation and academic performance. Winners are determined by the male and female athlete who achieved the highest points from the following two categories. One, a senior who has earned at least two varsity letters in two different sports, and two, the highest grade point average. This year's recipients are Karen Nortz and Pat Mastro. Congratulations. Perhaps the most important presentation is the Shore Conference Sportsmanship Awards. The positive representation of the Mata Day Prep brand is emphasized by our coaches throughout our programs. Our recipients were competitive yet possessed citizenship and principles of ethics and fair play while representing the Mata Day Prep community. These honorees demonstrate a consistent quality of accepting a loss or defeat without complaint and victory without gloating. They always treated their opponents with fairness, generosity, and courtesy. This year's Shaw Conference Sportsmanship Awards are presented to Malachi Treadwell and Elizabeth Morrow. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. We wish all of you a safe and healthy summer. Sarah, Sarah, powerhouse.